All right, guys, uh, this is the assembler. We're going to go run this uh, factory IO scene. And this would be for my pick and place, my bases, and my leads. Right now, I'm online with the PLC. I already downloaded the program to the PLC. And I have just to connect to the driver. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my driver. It's Siemens S7 PLC simulation. I'm gonna click on connect. Once I get this green check mark, everything's okay. Meaning that my PLC IO matches what's already downloaded. Uh, the program, the logic, that's already downloaded to my actual PLC uh, simulator. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and run it and see how it looks like. I'm gonna put it in row mode and press the start button. Alright guys, let me put it in pause and show you uh, the actual code. So right over here, I got my OB. This is my uh, machine ready bit. So factory IO is running. We, we got that, that's good. I got green, auto mode. Uh, the stop button hasn't, hasn't been pressed and the e stop it is released. So I got my uh, running bit. This is my system bit that tells or my function blocks that each one of them are good to go. Uh, I turn on my start light. This is the LED on the panel right over here, this light. It's already running. Because my system bit, it's turned on, meaning I got factory IO running. If I turn off factory IO, I'll put it in stop mode. Then this bit is gonna go away. So let me turn it on, let me turn it back on. I get my green light turn on. And here, we go, here we go. So uh, right now uh, I got uh, my machine ready bit, so I'm good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do my mapping. This is what I do. I convert every sensor inside uh, factory IO. I turn these uh, uh, sensors. Everything you see yellow, this is a normally closed sensor. I'm getting those sensor and um, inverse doing a using this instruction uh, invert invert the sensor from normally closed to normally open on well, my master this is where uh, my main routine uh, runs this is what uh, uh, does the entire cycle of the application it's running inside my master right over here master so what I do over here is just uh, wait for my system bit to say that everything's good to go. Then I press my start button. This is where I would start calling my function blocks, like uh, conveyors to run. Uh, I, for this instance, I created a function block main and then inserted all the other function blocks inside main. Uh, this way, I, I can choose uh, multi-instance for my function blocks instead of single instance. Uh, that way, I don't create so many data blocks. Right now, as you can see, I only have two, uh, actually one data block, which is my main data blocks that control these uh, three function blocks. All right, my function blocks are for the conveyor. Let me double click on it. And this is uh, my stepping logic for running my conveyors. 
you have seen this before this is just my my standard my standard uh, logic for my pick and place it is pretty much the same stepping logic moving to Z I detect movement on my Z axis then jump to my step number two where I can if my step number three is not done I wait for my vacuum sensor to tell me that a part has been grabbed uh, once I get a uh, notification I go ahead and do me my my uh, my uh, my actual uh, uh, solenoid valve turn it on I mean turn on the, the valve and move to Z uh, and then I move to step three to this over here this runs over here turn on number number three and wait for my z movement to tell me that it is moving in the z axis this sensor turns on when it is moving and then it turns off when it stops moving that's when i start my x and my z and so on and so forth until i reach the bottom for of my entire pick and play uh, uh, scene or routine and then increment my sensor, get my done bit uh, set up, and reset everything else. Reset all my stepping logic with this uh, instruction. Reset bit field. Then on my main, this is what I call my uh, function block. This is my main function block. Uh, this one over here. If I double click it, this is where I put my all, all other my three other uh, function blocks so everything is neat and organized all right guys i'm going to show you a video running in high high speed and um, talk to you later thanks